First thing you're going to need to conduct this experiment is mustard, of course. Any sort of mustard will work, any brand, say it's from a bottle, from a packet, any sort of mustard will work. Just make sure that it's yellow. Why yellow, you may wonder? Well, yellow mustard has a natural indicator that is placed into it during the manufacturing process called turmeric. Turmeric changes color to red at a pH of 7.4, and it is also what we will be using to measure the equivalence point of this titration. The next thing you're going to need is safety goggles. Safety goggles are essential for any sort of lab that you do, but in this one, you're going to be using them to prevent the splashing of any sodium hydroxide into your eyes. This experiment will require the use of a burette. To use a burette, it needs to be clean. For that, you're going to want to use some laboratory-approved chemical detergent to clean out the inside. I personally am using Alkanox, however, you can use whatever you want. Just make sure it's laboratory-approved. In order to transfer the Alkanox detergent to your burette, you're going to need to use a metal spatula. Any type will work. The titrant you'll be using in this experiment is sodium hydroxide. To transfer it to the burette, you'll be using a volumetric pipette. Any size pipette will work. You're going to be using distilled water for the cleaning of your burette and for the dissolving of your mustard. About 300 milliliters should be optimal for this experiment. A 250 milliliter beaker is necessary for this titration. You may be asking yourself, why 250 milliliters? This is the size that functions best with our stirring table. The titrant you'll be using is sodium hydroxide. You need 50 milliliters of this to fill your burette up all the way to the zero milliliter mark. To pour your sodium hydroxide and your alkanox detergent into your burette, you need a plastic funnel. Any size will work. Just make sure that the spout of the funnel fits into the top of the burette. In order to find the equivalence point as precisely as possible, we're going to be using the Logger Pro software, available at most local chemistry labs. You're also going to need a burette stand. A burette stand is composed of two parts, the stand itself, the white part of the picture, and the metal pole, where you'll be placing the burette clamp. Any experiment requiring the use of a burette also requires the use of a burette clamp. Without this, the burette cannot stand upright and you will not be able to conduct the experiment. Almost all, if not every titration you will ever conduct throughout the course of your life as a chemistry student will require the use of a burette. Make sure you have a good, reliable burette. A burette cannot be used effectively unless it is clean. For that, along with the alkanox detergent that I listed before, you will also need a burette scrubber. During the experiment, your titrant and your titrated solution will be constantly mixing and changing the pH. For this to happen most optimally, you're going to want to use a magnetic stirring stand. There's no way to use a magnetic stirring table without the magnetic stirrer itself. The small white bar you see in the picture is that stirrer. The pH probe you're going to be using in this experiment needs to be fastened to the magnetic stirring table securely. For that, you're going to want to use an electrode support. The final object you're going to need to conduct this experiment is a pH probe. A pH probe is used in conjunction with the turmeric, the natural indicator present in the mustard, to measure the equivalence point of the titration. When the turmeric changes red, mark down the pH on a sheet of paper so you know when the equivalence point occurs. Before conducting any sort of titration, you need to clean your burette. In order to do that, you're going to need a funnel, about a gram of alkanox detergent, and a lot of distilled water. Now, place the funnel in your burette and pour the alkanox in. Make sure it's all in the burette before you start. Now, check your stopcock. Make sure that it's closed so no alkanox detergent flows in through the tiny tube at the bottom or else it will get stuck and it will be very hard to get it out. Now, fill your burette up with distilled water to the zero milliliter mark. At that point, take your burette scrubber and insert it into the burette all the way to the bottom. I move it up and down a few times in order to, to get the detergent to coat the inside completely. Yeah. Now remove it from the burette and place it in your sink preferably. If you don't have one, you can just place it on a paper towel or something. And now while pouring out your detergent filled water, turn the burette slowly so the water coats the complete inside of the top as well. From there, Rinse it with, your, with the rest of your distilled water until it's completely clean and free of bubbles.
or else your titration will not go as expected and you will get horrible results. One more square round to do it. There you go. Finger it.